Hi, I'm Angie Dowers, the author and illustrator of The Little Strawberry, Coping with Struggle and Loss. The sunshine is pleasant on a dewy spring morn, and the green leaves rejoice at a new year reborn. The little white blossoms begin to appear, the strawberry patch bigger than it was last year. The red juicy fruit would be all different sizes. Hiding under large leaves would yield lots of surprises. Early in June, at all the berries turn red. Go pick the strawberries, is what Mom said. Mouths will be happy with sweet berries to munch, savoring the harvest as we enjoy them for lunch. As summer begins and the all the strawberries eaten, there are so many moments that they had sweetened. Soon the hot summer sun will beat down on the plants and the hot winds will blow, making all the leaves dance. Summer is hard. With the heat and less water, the plants seem to survive, though the weather is hotter. The cool breeze comes, and now it is fall, and the strawberry plants are not remembered at all. The weeds will start growing and usually bring no particular notice until early next spring. Then one crisp morning in late August appears a little strawberry who is so full of fear. I can't be growing now. It's too late. It's too cold. It will never be good to grow now, I've been told. The leaves are all changing. My time is way past. I don't think in this cold I ever could last. Who made me grow in such a difficult time? I'm feeling forgotten watching prickly weeds climb. One minute I'm lonely, I'm scared, and I'm sad. Then without any mourning, I feel really mad. The anger inside me just wants to be free, for I want to know why this is happening to me. I am mad at the gardener and ask why in my head, and then I start feeling my face turn bright red. Please pick me now, even though I'm not ripe, because I feel like I'll end up the forgotten type. But the gardener seems to ignore my hard plight and looks at me lovingly to say, you'll be all right. Thank you for sharing your feelings with me. It helps to say them out loud. Let them go. Set them free. What you feel is important. So don't try to hide the way you are feeling deep down inside. I have something in mind for a special berry like you, but you have to willingly do what I need you to do. On a quiet September morning, I'm not sure just when, a figure approached the strawberry patch, and then, my little berry shape, the person noticed with awe, and stopping a moment, not believing what she saw, the big green leaves hid lots of berries under cover, a whole batch of strawberries, ready to discover. The one little berry who struggled so much with the difficult challenge now felt the touch of the gardener's hand as he knew all along that he needed the berry for one who'd been wronged. The berry did not know that the person who'd picked him was heartbroken, sad, and struggling within. Once she discovered strawberries growing in fall, would realize the master gardener was in charge of it all. Showing her something so sweet and exciting, was waiting for her and simply inviting to look how small little miracles bloom when our lives are so hard and seem full of gloom. The strawberry learned at the time he was picked that his feelings of anger at what seemed like a trick were replaced with peace as he learned he could serve those who miss out on what they think they deserve. But he felt peace inside as he knew he could give a better solution to how others live with the heartache, sadness, and loneliness, too, by counting their blessings and showing gratitude. Strawberries in fall that were hidden from view until one little strawberry knew just what to do, stepped out of the box and let go of the past and trusted the gardener's peace would outlast. Long after the strawberry's tough autumn sprout, he knew what his purpose was really about. To look and count blessings right in the spot where you are planted sure helps a lot. That is the story of the little strawberry. And then at the end of each of the books, it has a page that talks about you can go find different emotions and different ways of healthy coping skills. 
and um, information. Um, I hope you enjoyed this story and thanks for watching.